Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez, and today I want to talk about collaborating and give you a couple of reasons why you should be doing it more often. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the first reason, and that's that collaborating can lead you to getting a higher production value in your photos. When you collaborate with others, you have the potential to create photos that really stand out from the crowd. And I can tell you from personal experience that over the many photo shoots that I did over the past couple of years, the ones that stood out the most to me were the ones where I collaborated. It's definitely not to say that I've had bad photo shoots when I didn't collaborate, but the ones where I did definitely gave the photos an edge in terms of hair, makeup, wardrobe, and the location. Another reason to collaborate is that it's great for networking. When you begin to collaborate with other people, you not only have the potential to create better images, but you also have the potential to develop a greater network of people that are involved in photography. I recently reached out to a local dress rental business, makeup artist, and the owner of a beautiful photo spot nearby and asked them if they'd like to collaborate on a photo shoot together in exchange for some photos. The shoot definitely could have been strictly about photography and getting good images, but the key thing that I took from this experience is that I got to know them and they got to know me. These relationships can also really help out both parties in case a service is required. The owner of that local photo spot might be working with a client that needs a last minute dress rental, and now I know somebody to refer them to. These same people can also refer to me in case they're working with clients that don't necessarily have a photographer yet. The third reason why you should be collaborating more is that you could learn more. By collaborating with other photographers, you're opening yourself to not just sharing your knowledge of photography with them, but also learning from them as well. In my experience, I've gotten better at posing with the help of my friend Eli, and he's gotten better at off-camera flash with my help. Had we not collaborated a few years ago, we might not be as good as we are in those two aspects as we are today. Two heads are always going to be better than one, and if you've been shooting for a while, you know that two photographers can have the same gear, the same location, and the same model, and come up with two entirely different sets of images. I hope those tips helped you out and that you start collaborating. I'm going to be ending the video with a behind the scenes look into a collaborative shoot that I did with the businesses listed on the screen and the description area below, and I hope you guys enjoy the photos. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing because I do put out helpful content every single week. All right, take care, keep shooting, and don't forget to have fun.